Check this out. Boom shakalaka. Hi folks, I'm from onandroid.com where we get on Android every day. I know you guys want to get super high on Android. If you got the Galaxy S6 or the S6 Edge, you'll probably want to root it the day you get it. So I just got this five hours ago, but let's go ahead and root this bad boy. Let's go do this, baby. All right, guys, first thing you'll need to do is find out the model number of your Galaxy S6 or Galaxy S6 Edge. Sorry, I don't know why my tongue is just weird lately. I can't say Galaxy. There we go, I got it. Uh, anyway, here we go. I've got the G920T, SMG 920T. So make note of which model number you have, okay? That's the most important thing. Uh, this is a T-Mobile version, but it'll work on any Galaxy S6 or S6 Edge uh, with unlocked bootloader, which is pretty much every S6 and S6 Edge, uh, except for AT&T and Verizon. If you have AT&T and Verizon, there may be a new uh, other method, so check my site, um, galaxys6root.highonandroid.com. All right, first thing you're gonna do after you turn off your phone, is go ahead and hold down volume down, center home, and the power button. All right, go ahead and hold it until you see this warning sign. Let go of all the buttons and go ahead and hit the volume up. And this will enter you into the Odin download mode. That's what we call it. So remember it, folks. Uh, next time you root and install custom ROMs, you'll know what this is. Next, go ahead and connect it to your computer via micro USB cable. Now, you can use Mac, Windows, or Linux, Ubuntu, whatever you want. Uh, for Mac or Linux, you can go ahead and grab Joden instead of Odin. The process is exactly the same. You just have to install Java for your Mac or Linux and download Joden for your computer. And then let's go to our computer. All right, guys, in this root method, we're going to go ahead and use Chainfire CF Auto Root. Uh, there will we'll also be another method using CW and Torp Recovery. Uh, right now, as of today, it, there isn't because I just got this phone and it just got released. But by the time you see this video, there may be another root method. You can also follow that. But this is the, using CF Auto Root. Go to autoroot.chainfire.eu. I'll have a link to this. And go ahead and find your model number. Um, so for me, it is SMG. Uh, 925T, or sorry, 920T. Um, that is for my T-Mobile uh, S6. If you have a T-Mobile S6 Edge, it's G SMG 920T. Go ahead and download the file, all right? And go ahead and click download. Uh, I already downloaded it. And also, you will need to download uh, the latest Odin program. Um, now, if you have the previous version, it's not gonna work. I already tried it. Uh, make sure you have the latest version 3.10.6. All right, go ahead and download that. Uh, it'll be, oops, here we go. It'll be here, Odin, Odin 3 underscore 3.10.6.zip. I'll have a link to it uh, where you can get this. All right, and also you should have downloaded the other file, which is uh, Chainfire, CF Auto Root, uh, blah, blah, dot, your model number, dot zip. So go ahead and double click that and extract all files, all right? Go ahead and extract all files. I already extracted it, um, so it's, that's why it's asking me to overwrite. And inside, you'll find an older uh, Odin. Don't use that, that one doesn't work. All right, and we're simply gonna use this file here. All right, go back to Downloads folder and go ahead and download the Odin 3 uh, v3.10.6.zip. Double click and uh, extract uh, the files also, and you'll get a folder uh, with Odin, Odin 3 v3.10.6. Go ahead and double click it. All right, and this should give you this uh, interface here. All right, here we go. You should see this blue highlighted com sign with a random com number. All right, if you don't see it, go ahead and download the Samsung drivers uh, for the Galaxy S6. I'll have a link to it on my site. Go ahead and download it, run the exe file. Uh, go ahead and unplug the micro USB from your phone and plug it back in and you should see this. And if you're using Mac or Windows, go ahead and download Joden instead and run it and you should see, also see something like this or something colored box. Uh, but it, it, for Mac or Linux, you don't need drivers. All right, next we're gonna go ahead and choose AP. All right, and we're gonna go to our download folder and into the CF auto root folder, the file you unzipped the CF auto root. We're gonna go ahead and the, select the CF auto root tar.md5. All right, blah, blah, dot, tar, dot, md5. Go ahead and hit open. Uh, and we're gonna go ahead and hit start. And this will pretty much uh, root our phone. 
All right. And I'll show you that it's working. My phone already reset it. And it will reboot into uh, its own recovery and start rooting the process. So let me go ahead and uh, do that so you can see better what's going on. And that will root your phone. All right. Now, if your Odin hangs or something, um, sometimes that can happen. Make sure keys is turned off if you install Samsung keys. I'll go to a task manager and just, you know, kill it, kill that process. And once this is done, we should be good to go. Let me go ahead and change the camera angle and uh, let's do this. All right, my phone is still rebooting. Um, there we go. And once it's rebooted, go ahead and find Super SU in your app drawer. Go ahead and press it. All right. And you should get no errors. If you get any errors, um, then you have a problem. If you get any questions asking you to disable Knox, sometimes it does it, uh, make sure you say yes. And also if it asks you to update binaries, say yes and choose normal. Uh, but otherwise, if you don't get any errors, you're here, then you're good to go. And you can verify you have full root uh, by going download the, uh, going downloading Titanium Backup App. I think that's actually my my order, they're saying that uh, they're shipping my... Ooh, look. No, no, it says it's delivered. It's this phone that was delivered. I'll trip it out. All right, let me go ahead and ti download Titanium Backup. Sorry, I'm going to have to clear all this. All right, Titanium Backup app, I highly recommend to back up your apps and app data. It's a great app. Go ahead and open it, and you should see... Boom shakalaka. Your phone has been fully rooted, your S6 or S6 Edge. Um, so now the next step, this root method doesn't install Clockma recovery or Torp recovery if you want to install custom uh, ROMs and stuff. And also if you want to take uh, OTA, you can go ahead and do that. Uh, to unroot, simply go to Super SU, go to settings, and go down to full unroot. If you press that and continue, it will fully unroot uh, your S6. Now this root method does involve um, it does set off the Nox counter. It does uh, void your warranty, so just know that before you do this. Sorry, I, I forgot to tell you that in, at the beginning of the video. I should have. Um, but uh, usually, like team, the U.S. carriers, they don't actually check for the Nox. I've returned a bunch of phones before. It's usually international. Uh, if you actually take it back to the Samsung service center, that may become a problem. But if you go through another carrier, they don't really check it, so I wouldn't worry about it. And also, if you're going to root and you don't have experience doing this, I do highly recommend getting insurance. So at the worst, you can go ahead and pay the deductible, 100 bucks, whatever, and get a new phone. You know, um, so that's about it. That's how you root your Galaxy S6 or S6 Edge. And thanks for watching this video. Now you should be able to root your uncles, your mothers, your fathers, your uncles, brothers, your grandmothers, your daughters, your grand sisters, your granddaughters, Galaxy S6 or S6 Edge, no problem. So good luck. And that's how you do it. And I will see you guys soon. As always, don't forget to hit that like, subscribe if you enjoyed this tutorial. And as always, I'll stay. Here on Android.